Hi Libra, welcome to this reading. Okay, we have judgment in reverse. I'm feeling Scorpio energy, Aquarius as well. We have the page of swords in reverse. So both of you might be wondering, is your connection going to get another chance? Is it going to be revived? Um, where do you stand with one another? If you're currently connected or even in a relationship, where do you go from here? We have the two of cups on the back. So both of you, you know, your feelings are mutual. The, the care, the affection, the romance, wanting to work as a team. But also what is mutual is a feeling maybe of a lack of grounding, of not entirely knowing, seeing, understanding what next, where, where are we going from here? Okay, what else, please? The Ace of Wands in the reverse. We have the Five of Wands reversed and Libra Energy Justice in reverse. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We've got blockages all over the place and I feel that's because of this lack of certainty. This connection, where you're standing in this connection right now, possibly even the treatment you have received from your person, or not you know maybe they've they've been sort of ignoring you it's starting to knock your confidence you know maybe potentially or making you doubt making you question just making you feel uncertain of where you stand with them where you stand within this connection someone here is focusing on what feels like a missed opportunity possibly other people got in the way and interfered whether we're talking about one specific third party or several other people other factors and it feels like how things have gone is not right it's not fair you were heading towards something really exciting or a new beginning, an opportunity, a chance, and maybe it feels like it's just come to a stop or it's fizzled out. And both of you are feeling like, how how did that just happen? That is not how it was going supposed to go. That's not where we were heading. Okay, we have the King of Wands. So not all of you, definitely definitely not all of you, but some of you will feel like the power is in your person's hands here. That <laughs> it's almost like, let's say you were in the in the kitchen cooking something and it was going really well. Your person came in and said, no, 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 you don't want to do it like that in that order. Let me show you. And they've taken over and, and the meal is ruined. Um, yeah, okay. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's a real lack of clarity. Truth needs to be spoken about what exactly happened recently. I almost feel like whoever the person is who backed away or who caused this confusion intentionally or not is the one now wanting to, to make a return to see if you can have another go or to see if you can have this opportunity back. Yeah, wow. I, I don't think I've ever seen so many reverse cards. Here's that Scorpio energy that I was feeling. So there is a message that needs to come through, probably, you know, a message that needs to be delivered to you. I actually feel if your person seems like they've ghosted you, they've not replied, they said they were going to do something and they didn't, I feel that they're, the reason is they became distracted, preoccupied with something else. Not that that makes it okay to ignore you, of course, but what I what I think is um, hopefully nice to hear is that they didn't look at you and say, or your message and say, um, I'm, I, you know, I'm just not going to respond to this. They had and have the intention to, to get back to you, how you respond when they do, of course, you know, that's up to you. Can you give us one more before we clarify? two of wands so for some of you there's a lot of distance here emotional you know distance with communication or it feels like distance has been created because you've not been hearing from them on the back we have the queen of swords so i do feel whether you you know are a man woman watching this you've gone from that queen of wands energy feeling excited confident really buoyed up for your connection into this queen of swords energy because it didn't go how you how you were expecting for either of you and you're actually becoming maybe a bit cross because um it looks like you're waiting for something in in um, particular communication here <clears throat> and you kind of feel that your person is focusing on every single thing but you and you might be saying well how long does it take to send a quick message because the page of cups doesn't have to be a humongous conversation you know it can be a, a quick one-line reply 
even if this quick reply was to happen though i do feel like a bigger conversation um needs to take place and that that would really benefit this connection so let's see let's see what your person is really doing you know why are they distracted what are they actually focusing on have they turned their back deliberately or um has something come up let's see tell me about this king of wands because what doesn't make sense is that they feel exactly the same as you so why would they suddenly do this 180 okay the devil in reverse capricorn energy the king of swords in reverse look at this page of swords in reverse so you're both saying what is going on here I thought it was clear, I thought we were moving forward, building up to something, and now I don't really know where I stand. Yeah, five of wands, interference, the hermit. So they, as I said, as I, I felt there's some interference that, you know, caused your person to pull back. So tell us more about this five of wands and to go quiet. Tell us about the five of wands, please. With the devil being here, it feels like something they have to do that they might not necessarily want to. The devil, yes, it can be something binding, codependent, toxic. It can also talk about something in the 3D, something tangible. So it could be work, finances. Um, maybe there was an emergency with their family. Let's have a look and see. Tell me about the five of wands, please. Six of wands in reverse. So something, um, maybe a sudden... Um, how do you say you can say a sudden sort of burst of success the opposite like um a, wow failure sounds harsh i don't want to say failure but something maybe didn't go to plan or something suddenly went wrong with them or with someone they're close to here yeah and it's a secret well it's not a secret they just haven't told you so your person's actually got a lot going on that they're not really sharing and it's coming off looking like they've just forgotten about you or they've changed their mind about you or something like that but actually that's not true and while i do agree you know it would be better if they can let you know where you stand or to say actually i've got to go and deal with this emergency um you know they, they do still feel the same i don't think that you will never hear from them again i don't think this is over i think they just need a moment to sort this out and when they do come back around yeah it, you know it might be worth saying can you just not do that again you know just disappear um without saying anything we've got pisces energy here uh virgo tell me about this king of swords in reverse please <clears throat> sometimes he can be a liar manipulator but i'm not really feeling that so let's see what's going on with this energy Yeah, the Emperor. Your person's having to take care of business here, whatever business looks like to them. They're having to put on their responsible, mature hat and put others first. We've got Aries energy here. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in reverse, please. In terms of what has happened, I, you know, that's going to look different um, for everyone. And I kind of feel like right now, right now, for some reason, is not the time to know. Spirit saying, yes, it is a mystery, but that that's for a reason. So try not to fight that. Try not to figure it out, because um, I don't think you're going to be able to know before it's time. Yeah, see, look, clarifying the Ace of Swords in reverse, we get the Ace of Swords upright. There is going to be a chance to to reconnect, to have a really good conversation here. Um and and to ask what happened where did you go and also to say in future you know of course we all have times where we need to focus and give everything to someone or a situation but if you could have just told me you know um i would have known where i stood or that you you were going to disappear for x many days or weeks um and that you would get in touch when you were ready you know just um don't just disappear because i'm left feeling confused wondering what's happened if i've done something wrong and your person, I feel, inevitably ends up wondering, OK, well, it's been X amount of time. I wonder if you, the viewer, are still interested. You know, have you disappeared? Are you annoyed? OK, so, I mean, it's a quite a clear message. It feels like and take this as it resonates if it resonates it feels that you were going along with your person and you felt something was coming or or there was some sort of opportunity maybe some of you even planned a date or a, a phone call or something like that and then suddenly they just dropped off into the ether and you were wondering i'm so confused because everything was going really well and now you're not responding to me or you're ignoring me or something like that 
but it seems something very unexpected very um big happened on your person's side that they're having to sort of really step up and deal with um but they're not telling you about it and then they're going to get to a point if they're not at that point already where they start wondering how you feel about them where they stand with you because of how they left things um but there will be a chance like i said to come back around and to um to have this conversation let's just look i mean this is such a nice energy and it's you know it's really um the predominant underlying energy of this reading and this connection right now so let's have more of a look at this and see what's going on here yeah look the world is in reverse it's definitely not over okay in the world with the two of wands for some of you there's you know real real rip <coughs> excuse me real distance here <coughs> Okay, three of wands. So manifesting one another. Keep your thoughts in high vibration. Obviously, you know, keep focusing on the reality you want to create um, with this connection, but in other areas of your life as well. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So really, really, it's almost like we're getting some advice here. Um, bring your attention back to you. You know, in, instead of sort of spending a lot of time wondering what's happening with me and my person, ask yourself, what do I want to happen? What sort of reality do I want to, to create? And of course, you know, your person has free will, but um, it's definitely better to give it a go and focus on what you want to see rather than, than maybe the disappointments that are currently surrounding you, if they are. You also might need to take this as a time for self-care, self-nurture especially if you've been giving a lot to other people making sure everyone else is okay maybe that's that's kind of just your nature as well definitely a time for um inner reflection and and taking care of yourself right now maybe even slowing things down a little bit confirming this um point about changing perspective or keeping your vibration as high as possible we've got the five of cups in reverse and look see when this is reversed this person sees the two cups so you're looking at this and saying understandably you're saying i don't i don't understand it was going so well and spirit's saying you know the connection is still here it's just there's been um an unexpected event that's causing a delay that's causing a bit of confusion and actually, you know, if we think of this as an opportunity, it's, it's a good opportunity to let your person know how you prefer to communicate, you know, keep me informed or just let me know that now isn't a good time to talk. OK, we have the five of swords. The empress in reverse and the hierophant. OK, so if your mind is going at 100 miles an hour, please try to to relax you know find some peace however you find peace you know could be literally anything doing anything that feels calming and relaxing for you um because i feel that your mind is trying to un, un unpack to figure out to solve this mystery and i do think spirit saying in the right time you're not going to get to know before you know you're meant to here the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, not for all of you, but for some of you, you may have had some conflict or an argument with your person about a third party. And ever since, there's been absolute radio silence here. Again, you know, you are going to get a chance to communicate and see where you stand. Okay. Let's go to our Moonology deck. We've got Taurus, Libra energy. Your dreams need a practical plan for Moon in Taurus. Okay. So, yeah, if this is you manifesting, you know, working on yourself, uh, manifesting in this connection, work, health, family, hobbies, you know, anything, Spirit's saying, yeah keep going go for it do make sure you have um a practical plan of action at the same time to give yourself the best chance of success so we want to do the emotional psychological spiritual work but we also want to take that inspired action in the 3d 
it might be a time like i said to really apply yourself to something you're working on either improving changing or getting off the ground to be really diligent i'm actually seeing an image of the eight of pentacles you know really um putting your head down and laying the groundwork or working on the, the finer details because that will pay off later absolutely your commitment is being tested so you might be finding that you are going through a period where you're having to work very hard on the minutia of something and you're wondering you're asking yourself is this ever going to get anywhere i'm giving everything i'm exhausted i'm working long hours um when is this going to take off when am i going to get the recognition recognition or the payoff or the rewards um you know when am i going to start making money or find my audience or lose the weight or see my my fitness go up you know whatever it is um and spirit saying you're not wrong this really is a time of a focus of dedication of hard work but don't give up keep going it will pay off and that applies to this connection as well because i really really feel you've had a past a history in this situation and it, it had come to a point with that ace of wands where you were both excited about this new cycle new beginning moving forward and now just like that it went quiet and you're asking yourself what was it all for why are we why are we in this space um, but don't give up because i feel like this is a temporary blip and in the meantime because i do feel your person's got to open up to you um you know Keep focusing on yourself, on the things that you can control. Okay, we have, yeah, a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Be careful with this because I do feel that a lot of you have been overextending, have been very giving, nurturing, very solid and stable for other people. This feels to me like it's saying more, give yourself to things other than this connection right now you know um you know how if you if you're helping someone else with a problem it can distract you from yours that sort of thing so maybe you know being very present in in your friends lives your family's lives that sort of thing but definitely you know don't overextend give yourself time to rest be bold and make the first move again i kind of don't feel this is with your person in this connection um i actually i feel that same message extend yourself communicate to others um check in with with loved ones of course you know this is just a general reading so if you feel very inspired to make the first move with your person to say hi how's it going haven't heard from you in a while then you know definitely go for that let's see what's on the back adjustments are required Okay, adjustments in your connection moving forward. I think there needs to be better communication and um, adjustments in terms of how how hard you push yourself here. You know, you don't want to get burned out. Okay. So let's get some final messages from the Archangels. Yeah, prioritize focus on your highest priorities i will help you get organized and motivated so many of you really are manifesting something here and the archangels are saying you know go for it but remember to um to have that practical plan so two two cards about getting really um really grounded in the 3d really focused really practical and once you have that plan if you resonate with the archangels this is archangel metatron you can definitely call the archangels in to to help you to bring you signs synchronicities opportunities we have clear your space mm -hmm. get rid of clutter clear the energy around you and use feng shui so this can be emotional clutter psychological clutter physical tangible um, mess but clearing out getting focused prioritizing <clears throat> and we have crystal clear intentions this is crazy be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith i mean guys manifest 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 right now it's definitely your time okay so um on valentine's day 
which I believe is Sunday, um, I will have a reading coming out and the the suggestion that got the most likes as far as I can see um, on the last video I put up was something along the lines of uh, a reading for Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, um, who were in no communication and oh yes because I think the comments said that um, there's a lot happening in the 5D but not too much happening in the 3D so I will focus the reading around that sort of a question. I will probably expand it into you know um, twin flame soulmates that sort of energy and um, yeah so thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful or maybe you know filled in some of the blanks that sort of thing i will do the one question one card thank you for all of your questions if you want to leave a question for monday's draw please do just put your question in the comments and i will enter your name and um what else i think that's it yeah okay so let's do the one question one card if you're heading off thank you so much take care and i'll see you on valentine's day Otherwise, um, let's move on. Okay, where is my deck? Here. Okay, so today's winner is Storm of Love 79, who asks, <laughs> I don't know what it is about your name, but it made me feel like I was um, like a late night radio host. Storm of Love 79. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for your question. And your question is, will my person be able to move to Sweden this year? Okay, so Spirit, what message do you have for Storm of Love? Will my person be able to move to Sweden this year? Okay, so 2021. Storm of Love's person, will they be able to move to Sweden this year? We have the chariot in the reverse. So my immediate response when I see this is no, but the reason why is because of maybe a lack of focus or direction. I mean, it's pretty much all of these cards we just had in the reading about focus, prioritize, we need a practical plan. Either you or your person has a lot going on in spirit saying you need to get, not you really, they probably need to get a really firm grip on, um, everything that's going on and say i'm making this happen now what do i need to do to make it happen you know it's not about waiting for circumstances to be perfect it's about making them right and look at this on the back we have the three of coins this is working together it's it's being diligent and it's coming up <clears throat> with a plan taking action so let's not complicate this i feel the answer is yes if you know if your person can get into this energy and and really get focused and be diligent about um you know making this happen but it, it's as the energy is it looks a little too unfocused for the move to happen this year but it's definitely possible but then there needs to be a taking of of control you know grabbing the reins and saying i'm determined to make this work even if i hit the setback oh I'll, I'll fix it i'll sort it out and i'm going to keep going and I think, you know, three of pentacles is not the eight of pentacles. Usually there's a team of people. So um, it might involve the both of you kind of working together in some way to make this happen. And, and you know, bouncing ideas off of, of one another. What do you need? How can I help? OK, so this has happened. What can we do about that? So, you know, us, we, that sort of energy rather than you and I. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I will leave it here. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you on Valentine's. Bye.